answers from as far as the eye can see to as close as the ground you're spinning on. From science and literature to history, math, and beyond. This is Academically. Welcome to Academic League here on ITV. I'm Clark Anthony. This is competition among high schools all around San Diego County week after week. This week we have two teams in from the South Bay, the Sweetwater Union High School District. We will have Otay Ranch taking on Castle Park. We'll meet the coaches and the participants and then we'll get the questions flying at them. Come on over here, Alexandra. Alexandra Sanders is the coach at Otay Ranch High School. She has been a teacher for 24 years, 18 of them in the Sweetwater District and 10 now at Otay Ranch. She teaches college prep world history and to AP human geography. What is the difference between that and the geography I learned back in the dark ages? So we are not teaching physical geography. We're not teaching uh, plate tectonics and where on the continent to find countries. We're now teaching human geography, which is more about how we as humans have changed the earth to fit our needs and how the earth has changed how we have developed as a species and as a culture. You, you like practical stuff, meaning things that we exactly. ought to be able to do something exactly. with. I like that. Very good. Uh, and Alexandra has coached Academic League and Quiz Bowl now for nine years, and she mentors new teachers, also enjoys Renaissance fairs. Do you dress it as a particular queen or a particular era? Oh, yes, I dress in the Elizabethan era. Um, not a particular queen, but I do play a, a specific character. Um, I participate mostly at the Escondido Renaissance Fair, and I dress as a merchant's wife. And part of my responsibility while I'm there is I teach children the art of bartering. So e even in my, my private life, I'm still teaching. Yeah, well, that's, that works. I like it very much. Your starters, I think, are all seniors this year. How, how, how's the team doing? They are doing very well. We are actually undefeated at the moment, and I'm very proud of them. They've been together for a long time, and I'm going to miss them greatly when they all graduate in June. Well, before that happens, would you please introduce them from left to right? My pleasure. Starting with Hayden Karkanen. Hayden's favorite subject is chaos theory in math. Uh, he enjoys playing chess and academic league. He's not much of a sports guy, but he does enjoy watching. His aspirations in life are to live, learn, and make a decent wage. Nothing particular besides that. Next to Hayden, we have Mike. Uh, Mike Kwok's favorite subject is art history. He enjoys shopping and playing with his indie band. His aspirations in life are to be rich and unemployed. Uh, next to Hayden in our captain's seat is Jada Alvarez. Her favorite subject is English. Uh, she enjoys mahjong anagrams, puzzles, and poetry, and her aspiration in life is to become a professor and an author. Sitting next to Jada is Adrian Opel. He is our four-year starter on the varsity team. He enjoys history, mathematics, and the physical sciences. He, uh, outside of his four years on Academic League, he has an interest in learning languages, uh, specifically Japanese. He also serves as a class officer and enjoys um, listening to Japanese music to, to accelerate his language acquisition. He hopes to uh, study civil, or si civil or structural engineering uh, as a result of an AP research project that he did last year. And last but certainly not least, we have Mia Factora. Her favorite subjects are science and the arts. She participates in the mock trial uh, team with Academic League. She has played the cello for 12 years and does a significant amount of volunteer work. She hopes to become a nurse one day and hopes to become a specialized nurse after she attains her bachelor's degree. Wonderfully eclectic group. Good luck to you and the team, Coach. Thank you. You can Thank take you. your spot over there and come on over here. We're going to say hello to Arden Glendy, who is the coach for Castle Park High School. Welcome. Good to have Hi, you here. You. Uh, let's see. You've been teaching six years. What are the subjects you teach? English. Right. Well, good. We have a lot of English fans around here, so that, that's good right there specifically. Uh, Arden's uh, hobbies include reading, cooking, crossword puzzles, and running. And your team also, I guess, is, is all starters this year. Is that typical? They are. Um, it's pretty typical, yeah. They also sit in my room every day at lunch, so I'll be very sad when they don't do that. Um, yeah. And probably pretty self-motivated, I would imagine, right? I mean, you coach, but I, th I have the feeling most students are pretty much in it for, for the competition, right? That's 
pretty accurate most days, most depending days. on their mood. <laughs> sure. And the weather, I would imagine, too. Yeah. Would you introduce your starters from left to right, please? Sure. So first up, we have... Shouldn't have gone there, should I? Yeah. <laughs> First up, we have Gustavo Sanchez. Um, he's a senior, and he really enjoys government, literature, and math. Uh, he works at the weekends on, at Sprouts, and it will give me discounts. Just kidding. Uh, and he loves spending time with his friends. Uh, he plans to go to Southwest and then transfer to UCSD to hopefully become an accountant. Uh, next up, we have Martin Huerta, uh, also a senior, and he loves history and geography. Uh, he plays guitar, loves music, loves video games, uh, and enjoys playing volleyball. Uh, he plans to go to a trade school and become an electrician. Uh, next up, we have Josie Tapia, uh, also a senior, loves literature and art. Uh, he's in league and decathlon and loves roller hockey, playing video games like the rest of them. Um, hopes to study art history and English and become a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Um, next up, we have uh, Jesus Cassius, uh, also a senior, loves English, favorite subject. Um, and he enjoys hanging out with his friends, plans to study kinesiology. Uh, very cool. Next up, uh, we have Norman Albanez. Uh, he is also a senior, loves English and history. Um, he plays a lot of, lots of sports, swimming, wrestling, water polo, and wa roller hockey. Um, he loves reading and indie game development. Sure. Uh, and he plans to enlist in the U.S. Air Force uh, to fund a degree in computer science. I figure it's either a coincidence that so many of them really like English or you wrote their bios for them. No, 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 no. <laughs> but they did read a lot in my class. Well, good, so. good. They're learning well. Good luck to you and the team if you want to step on over there. Julia Anker is our moderator for this match. She is in her fifth year of teaching at Montgomery High School. She teaches AP Statistics and Integrated Math 3.1. And when Julia's off duty, she likes cooking, hiking, and swing dance. Julia, it's all yours. Okay. Toss up. This city is the most populous in the region of Romandie. It sits at the western end of a lake known locally as Loch Lamont. This city's palace of nation houses a major UN office. The Red Cross is headquartered in Geneva. Correct. Uh, bonus. On the right side of this painting, a female figure holds out a cloak decorated with flowers. For 10 points each, name this 15th century painting of a nude goddess who emerges from the sea atop a large cell. Yeah. A large birth shell. Of yeah. Birth of Venus. Wave, birth of Venus. Correct. Venus is blown towards shore with the help of Zephyr, a god of this phenomenon. A wind. wind. Yeah, okay. Wave, wind. Correct. The birth of Venus is a painting by this artist who also depicted Zephyr in his painting Primavera. Okay. Wave, defer to player two. Botticelli. Correct, 30 points. Toss up. A 2019 discovery revealed that these mammals fluoresce pink under ultraviolet light. Like bats, these animals have patagia, which are membranous structures that allow these animals to move between trees. For 10 points, name these rodents that glide, but are... Uh, Otai Ranch? Flying squirrel. Correct. Nice. Bonus. <coughs> this president mocked what he called the do-nothing Congress. For 10 points each, Name this Democrat elected to a full term in 1948, three years after he succeeded Franklin Roosevelt. Truman. Truman? Okay. Yeah. Wave. Truman? Correct. Attacks on the Republican-controlled Congress helped Truman to win an upset victory in the 1948 presidential election over this governor of New York. Sounds like Scott to me. It does sound like Scott. Scott? Incorrect. Dewey. Um, the so-called Do Nothing Congress did pass the European Recovery Program, a plan to aid Western Europe that was informally named for this Secretary of Marshall. State. Marshall? Yeah. Oh, the Marshall Plan. Yeah. Okay. Wave, Marshall? Correct, 20 points. Toss up. In this ballet's first act, a prince celebrating his birthday leaves to hunt with a crossbow and gets lost in a forest. At its end, Siegfried and his love jump into the title location to break Rothbart's curse. Odette is turned into a bird. Uh, Otai Ranch? Swan Lake. Correct. Nice. Bonus. For 10 points each, give these words that are also a male first name. This word can refer to a short crowbar or can be used as a verb, meaning to force open. Jack? Jack? Jack. Like to jack open? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Jack? Incorrect. Jimmy. Oh, that makes sense too. This verb means to diminish gradually and come to an end, usually followed by the word out. Fate? That's not a name. That's not a name. Uh, I don't know. Any? Fade. Incorrect. Peter. 
<laughs> this short word can indicate the title of a mafia boss or a tutor at the British at a British university such as Oxford. Don. Don. Dean. 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 Incorrect. Don. Uh -oh. Zero points. Yeah. Toss up. George Armistead defended this place from Congreve rockets fired by the HMS Erebus. A poem set to the tune of To Anacreon in Heaven mentions bombs bursting in air over this place during the 1814 Battle of Baltimore. For 10 points, the Star Spangled Banner describes an attack on what fort? Fort McHenry. Toss up. A philosopher who wrote in this language introduced the idea of a introduced the idea of a thing in itself. The world as will and representation was written in this language by a pessimistic thinker. The critique of pure reason was written in for 10 points what language of Arthur Schopenhauer and Immanuel Kant? Uh, Otay Ranch? German. Correct. Bonus, for 10 points each, answer the following about ghostwriters. Novels about this girl detective from River Heights are attributed to Carolyn Keene, a pseudonym used by various authors. Yeah. Wave Nancy Drew? Correct. Nathan Zuckerman wonders if a mysterious woman is actually Anne Frank in this author's novel, The Ghost Writer. This novelist, who died in 2018, also wrote American Pastoral and Portney's Complaint. Who died uh, in 2018? Harper Lee. Incorrect. Roth. Speechwriter Ted Sorensen likely ghost, ghost wrote much of Profiles in Courage, a book credited to this president. Kennedy. Correct. Uh, 20 points. <coughs> Captain, can you introduce the new players? Um, all right. So, um, farthest right, to my right, of course, uh, we have Sean. He's a junior. He's an IB. Um, I think that's about as much as I know about him. <laughs> Sorry. Next to him, I have Isabella, also a junior, also an IB. Had both of them on the team for at least two years that I've been with them. They're great. To my left, I have Antonio, a junior, also in IB, and I've been with him for, again, two years. No real teammates, I know him, kind of. I take pride in that. And to the farthest left, I have Jalen. He's a senior. He's a good friend of mine, also in IB. Okay. Toss up. Pencil and paper ready. Angie is watching a TV series whose episodes are each 75 minutes long and needs to know how many episodes she can watch in 10 hours. By converting 10 hours into minutes and then dividing the... Castle Park? Oh, I'm sorry, Otay Ranch? Eight. Correct. Nice. Bonus. The name of this genus of bacteria means easily twisted seed because members of this genus form chains of spherical cells. For 10 points each, identify this genus who... Identify this genus <coughs> whose pyogenes species na causes a namesake infection of the throat. Strep. 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 Is it just strep? strep. Grip. Just strep? Yeah. Okay. Wave strep? Correct. Okay. Uh, most streptococci lacked, lack catalase, the enzyme required to metabolize these free radical generator whose molecular formula is H2O2. Peroxide. Just hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Wave hydrogen peroxide? Correct. Strep bacteria also gave rise to the Cas9 enzyme originally used in this system of gene editing. In bacteria, this system has been compared to a primitive Im immune system. CRISPR? 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 Yeah, it's CRISPR-Cas9. Yeah. CRISPR, okay. CRISPR. Correct, 30 points. Toss up. While flying to a convention in Montreal, this novel's protagonist survives a plane crash that kills a number of optometrists. Part of this novel is set at a zoo run by aliens on the planet Chalmalfador. Billy Pilgrim becomes unstuck in time. Otay Ranch. Slaughterhouse Five. Correct. Bonus. In August 1990, Saudi Arabia asked for US military protection against neighboring Iraq. For 10 points each, Saudi Arabia was concerned because Iraq had recently invaded what Middle Eastern country? Wait. Wave Kuwait. Correct. This Iraqi leader ordered the invasion of Kuwait. He was overthrown in a 2003 U.S. invasion. Wave, defer to player four. Saddam Hussein. Correct. Hussein's invasion of, um, or sorry, Hussein's invasion of Kuwait was reversed in the first Gulf War of 1991, which was fought under this U.S. president. Which one? Bush one, like George H.W. Bush. Okay. <laughs> George H.W. Bush. Correct, 30 points. <laughs> Toss up. A 1997 hostage crisis in this country ended with a raid on the residence of the Japanese ambassador. During the 1980s, the Maoist guerrilla group Shining Path opposed this country's president, Alberto Fujimori. Otay Ranch? Peru. Correct. Nice. 
Bonus. This book describes the author's attempt to live deliberately. For 10 points each, name this book about the author's two-year stay at a title location near Concord. Walden. Oh, good job. Yeah. Wave Walden. Correct. This author of Walden urged readers to simplify, simplify, suggesting that modern society was Thoreau. too full of distractions. Or was it Emerson? No, no Emerson. Yeah, because yeah, it's Waldo Emerson, yeah. but then Thoreau. Were, mm. Okay. Wave Thoreau. <laughs> Correct. In this 19, sorry, in this 1849 essay, Thoreau endorsed the view that government is best which governs least. This essay equated the payment of taxes with support for the Mexican-American War. Wave, civil disobedience? Correct, 30 points. Toss up. This type of tissue requires titan, the single largest protein in humans. A subtype of this tissue has multiple nuclei per cell, as well as striations that re result in an arrange, uh, otai ranch. Muscle? Correct. Nice. Right. nice. <laughs> Bonus. Pencil and paper ready. For 10 points each, estimate these quantities to the nearest tenth. For all parts, your answer should be a decimal with one number to the right of the decimal point. The fraction 45 divided by 14. You're doing that. 3 point... Uh, two. Yeah, sure. 3.2? Correct. The number that can be expressed in scientific notation as 1.264 four four times ten raised to the second power. Hundred twenty six point four? Yeah. Yep. Wave hundred twenty six point four? Correct. The constant two times tau. You have ten seconds and should note that tau is usually presented as an alternative to pi. It's twelve point five six twelve point six. Twelve point six? Okay. Wave twelve point six? Correct. Thirty points. Toss up. After winning a contest, these beings turned the daughters of uh, Pieris into birds. The mountains of Helicon and Parnassus were both said to be home to the daughters of Nemosyne. History was the specialty of Clio, a member of, for 10 points, Castle Park. Muses? Correct. Bonus. This, or this disorder was once called manic depression. For 10 points each, name this disorder that causes people to alternate between periods of depression and elevated mood. Bipolar. Bipolar. Wave time bipolar disorder? Correct. This neurotransmitter, whose release is stimulated by many addictive drugs, increases in transmission during manic periods. Dopamine, dopamine. Wave time dopamine? Correct. Bipolar disorder is typically diagnosed using the criteria in the fifth edition of this manual. All right, fellas. Minecraft guide. <laughs> no. No. Please defer to player two. The Bible. <laughs> Incorrect. DSM. 20 points. <laughs> Toss up. During the War of Jenkins' Ear, this colony was the site of the Battle of Bloody Marsh. This colony's founder, James Oglethorpe, intended it to be a ha Otay Ranch. Georgia? Correct. Nice. Bonus. This war was followed by approximately 15 months of peace, after which the two combatants resumed fighting in the Continuation War. For 10 points each, name this war that began with a November 1939 invasion of Finland and resulted Winter in the war. loss of 11% of Finland's territory. Winter War? Yeah, the Winter War. Wave the Winter War? Correct. Finland lost the Winter War to this communist neighbor, USSR. which was expelled from the League of Nations for starting the conflict. Okay. Wave USSR? Correct. During the Winter War, Finns referred to improvised firebombs made from the bottles Molotov as the cocktails, cocktails of this <laughs> Soviet foreign minister. This Molotov. Right? Molotov, yeah. Wave Molotov? Correct. 30 points. Nice. Toss up. In one book by this author, a kidnapped prince called Shasta escapes from the land of Kallerman with the help of the title Talking Stallion. This author's novel, The Horse and His Boy, also depicts the godlike lion Aslan. For 10 points, what Englishman? Otay Ranch? Lewis. Correct. Bonus. This phrase was introduced in Brian Kerninghan's tutorial introduction to language B. To the language B. For 10 points each, give this two-word greeting often used as the output of a simple computer program produced by people learning to code. That does sound right. Hello world. Hello world. Yeah. Hello world. Hey. <laughs> Wave hello world. Correct. Kerninghan, Kerninghan and Dennis Ritchie used the hello world example in a 1978 guide to this programming language named for a letter. A language based on this C. one adds plus plus to its name. Yes, yes. Okay. Wave C. Correct. <laughs> Richie created C at this company in Murray Hill, New Jersey. Nokia now owns this company, whose employees developed Unix. Oh, well, Linux. Linux? Linux? Defer to player four. IBM. Bell Labs. Uh, 20 know. points. <laughs> okay. Toss up. 
This term refers to freebooters who led unauthorized military expeditions to Latin America. A tactic of this name can be ended by invoking, by invoking cloture and was performed by Strom Thurmond for over 24... Oh, Ty Ranch? Filibuster. Correct. Nice. Uh, this is racist. Bonus. <laughs> Many government offices in this country have moved to the planned city of Putrajaya. For 10 points each, Indonesia. name this country that shares Indonesia. the island of Indonesia. Borneo with Brunei and Indonesia. Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Okay. Wave, Malaysia. Correct. Malaysia's capital is what city on the Klang River? Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Wave, to Pertle Player 4. Kuala Lumpur. Correct. Kuala Lumpur contains these skyscrapers, which were the tallest the in the world from 1998 towers. to 2004. They remain the tallest twin towers in the world. Petronas Twin Towers. Yes. Wave, Petronas tw Twin Towers. Correct, 30 points. Toss up. This astronomer lends his name to a constant of proportionality between recessional velocity and distance of galaxies, which appears in a law named Otay Ranch. Hubbles. Correct. Nice. Oh, nice. Bonus. In 2018, Jap von Zuida took over for Alan Gilbert as the music director of this orchestra. For 10 points each, name this oldest of the big five American orchestras. It is based at Lincoln Center. Is it New, New York Philharmonic, maybe? Sounds about right. New York, yeah. New York Philharmonic? Correct. Nice. During an 1865 memorial for Abraham Lincoln, the New York Philharmonic controversially omitted Ode to Joy from this Beethoven symphony. Is it? Either was third or fifth. I thought it was ninth. 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 Correct. <laughs> in 1958, this composer of West Side Story took over oh. as director of the New York Philharmonic, where he led televised young people's concerts. Bernstein. Steen. Bernstein. Because Sondheim did it, but it was also someone else. I think it was Bernstein, right? Bernstein. Correct. 30 yes. points. Toss-up. This monarch acquired parts of the Spanish Netherlands in the War of Devolution. He supposedly expressed his absolutist philosophy by claiming, I am the state. This Bourbon king began the construction of a palace at Versailles. Castle Park. King Louis XVI. Incorrect. Can you please repeat the question? This monarch acquired parts of the Spit Otay Ranch? Louis XIV. Correct. Oh, Bonus. This character cruelly remarks, let him smell his way to Dover after her husband plucks out Gloucester's eyeballs. For 10 points each, name the Shakespearean villain who dies after being poisoned by her sister, Goneril. Her, a female villain, Shakespeare. Oh, oh what is, I don't know. Andromeda. Regan. Regan and Goneril are daughters of this king who divides his kingdom between his daughters at the start of the tragedy named for him. Okay, wave, Lear. Correct. Lear disinherits his third daughter, his youngest, after she states, I love your majesty according to my bond, no more nor less. And King Lear's daughter. Ooh, Scotterina? Scotterina. <laughs> Cordelia, 10 points. <laughs> Okay, Otay Range, can you uh, introduce the new players? Yes, in seat two, we have senior Nick Androsky, and in seat five, we have senior Naomi Tanaka. Okay, toss up. One allotrope of this element was found in 2004 by an experiment using scotch tape. This element's allotrope, Otay Ranch. Carbon. Correct. Nice. Bonus. For 10 points each, answer the following about the 1972 Supreme Court case, Furman v. Georgia. The case resulted in a temporary halt of this practice in the U.S. William Brennan's the concurrence definitely. cited a study showing that the application of this practice was unequal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wave death penalty. Correct. The majority opinion held by the death. The majority opinion held the death penalty contravened the Eighth Amendment, which forbids punishments defined as cruel or as this other adjective. Unusual. Okay. Wave unusual. Correct. This justice who joined the majority in Furman v. Georgia was a former lawyer for the NAACP who argued Marshall. the case of Brown v. Board of Education. Okay. Wave Marshall. Correct. 30 points. Yes. Toss up. A poem from this decade imagines some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. Another poem written in this decade describes clumsy helmets used in a gas attack. For 10 points, Rupert... Uh, Otay Ranch? 20th century. Um... Incorrect. A poem from this decade imagines some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. Another poem written in this decade describes clumsy helmets used in a gas attack. For 10 points, Castle Park. 1910s? Correct. Yeah. 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 Bonus. Yeah. 
When this character first meets her lover, she sees a railway worker killed in a train accident. For 10 points each, name this title character of an 1878 novel who has a passionate affair before ultimately throwing herself in front of a train. <laughs> Please defer to player one. Patricia. Anna Karenina. Oh. This Russian author Tolstoy. wrote Anna, Anna Tolstoy. Karenina. Tolstoy. Wait, time Tolstoy? Correct. Anna leaves her husband to pursue a romance with this count who is handsome but shallow. Dracula. <laughs> um, no answer. Vronsky. Ten points. Toss up. In 2016, Ecuador built one of these structures named Coca Coto Sinclair. One of them, owned by Vale in Brazil, failed in January 2019, killing over 150 people. Brazil and Paraguay jointly own the Itaipu. Otai Ranch? Damn. Correct. Bonus. A variant of the Maya language is spoken in the states of Campeche and Quintana Roo on this peninsula. For 10 points each, name this peninsula in southeastern Mexico. Wait, for player five? Yucatan? Correct. The Yucatan is north of this country, which is the only nation in Central America with English as an official language. Belize. Belize. Yeah. Interesting. Wave, Belize? Correct. The Mosquito language is spoken along the Mosquito Coast, which is controlled by Honduras and this country directly south of Honduras. Nicaragua. Nicaragua? Nicaragua. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to defer to you. Wave, defer to player four? Nicaragua. Correct, 30 points. Toss up. A Steinmetz solid is made at the intersection of several of these solids. This solid can be made by rotating a rectangle around an edge. It has a lateral area and two congruent bases. For 10 points, name this three-dimensional solid that may resemble a tin can. Otai Ranch. Cylinder. Correct. Bonus. In a political cartoon from 1869, a lynching victim holds one of these objects labeled Ohio. For 10 points each, identify this type of inexpensive luggage, a derogatory term for northerners who moved to the south during carpet reconstruction bag, yeah. referred to these items. Okay. Wave, carpet bag? Correct. Carpet baggers generally belong to this political party, which was founded in Wisconsin in 1854. Republican. Okay. Wave, Republican? Correct. This term was used for white Southerners, such as Senator James Lusk Alcorn, who supported Republican politicians. Scalaway. It may derive from the name of a town in the Shetland Islands. Scalawax. Okay. Wave Scalawax? Correct. 30 points. Toss up. This country is separated from its northern neighbor by a set of shoals called Adam's Bridge. The Buddhist Temple of the Tooth is in its city of Kandy. This country's capital of Kote, Otai Ranch? Sri Lanka. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus. Shortly after winning a Nobel Prize for Chemistry, this man became director of the Nobel Institute for Physical Research. For 10 points each, name the scientist who studied acid-base chemistry and formulated an equation relating reaction time to temperature. Lewis? Lewis? Maybe. Go with Lewis. Lewis. Arrhenius. Oh. The Nobel Institute is in this Scandinavian country, which was also the birthplace of Arrhenius. Sweden. Yeah. Sweden. Okay. Wave Sweden. Correct. In 1896, Arrhenius made early predictions of this effect in which gases of the lower atmosphere trap solar radiation. Greenhouse effect. Yeah. Wave greenhouse. Correct. 20 points. Toss up. An emperor who practiced this religion built the Red Fort. This was the primary religion of an empire founded by Babur. A royal consort of this religion is entombed. Otai Ranch? Islam. Correct. Yes. Bonus. During inconclusive tw April 2019 elections, this man's party was challenged by the Blue and White Alliance. For 10 points each, name this world leader who currently heads the Likud party. Netanyahu. Okay. Yeah. Wave, defer to player four. Benjamin Netanyahu. Correct. Netanyahu is the current prime minister of this Middle Eastern country. Dang, what country is that, Hayden? <laughs> Israel, yeah. Okay. Wave, Israel. Correct. Israel's parliament has this name. Both Knesset. the Likud and the Blue and White parties won 35 seats in this legislative body. Of course, you know everything Yeah, I, of course I know everything. <laughs> Wave, defer to player four. Knesset. Correct. 30 points. Toss up. The rotational form of this law states that torque is equal to the moment of inertia times angular acceleration. This law states that the rate of change of momentum equals the net force. For 10 points, name this law of motion, which states that force is equal to mass times Otai Ranch. Second. Correct. Mm. Yeah, correct. Uh, bonus. 
Jack London described a caravan of trunks leading, leaving this city in an article titled The Story of an Eyewitness. For 10 points each, name the city whose mission district was devastated by San an earthquake Francisco. and fire in 1906. Okay. Wave San Francisco. Correct. In the earthquake's aftermath, San Francisco received a gift of $100,000 from this company that was co-founded by John D. Rockefeller. Oils. Oil company. Standard Oil. Standard Oil. Standard Oil. Correct. The essay on some mental effects of the earthquake was written by this author of Pragmatism, who was visiting Stanford at the time of the quake. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably. Scott. William James. 20 points. Toss up. This structure is overriding in Tetralogy of Fallot. Stenosis of this opening. Stenosis of the opening of this structure is a common vul valvular heart disease. This structure starts at the left ventricle and descends into the abdomen where it's Castle Park. Chest cavity? Incorrect. Can you please repeat the question? This structure is overriding in Tetralogy of Fallot. Stenosis of the opening of this structure is a common valvular heart disease. This structure starts at the left ventricle and descends into the abdomen where it splits. For 10 points, what is the largest artery in the body? Uh, Otay Ranch? Aorta? Correct. Nice. Bonus. For 10 points each, answer the following about dispersion in optics. Dispersion occurs when a wave's phase velocity depends on this value. It is typically measured in cycles per second or hertz. Frequency? Yeah. Okay. Hello, seat Humphrey. And hello, seat Borshan. Frequency. Correct. Dispersion is responsible for the chromatic type of this phenomenon in which light passes through a lens in which light passing through a lens fails to focus to a single point. Oh, maybe. Mm. Refraction. Uh, optical aberration. Oh. Dispersion is the reason that these devices split white light into a color spectrum. Uh, the spectrum. A prism. Oh, that's a better answer. <laughs> um, wave prism? Correct. 20 points. Toss up. In 1479, this empire launched a disastrous invasion of its western neighbors, the Tarascans. According to legend, its capital was founded where an eagle consumed a snake on a cactus. For Castle Park. Aztec? Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm upset because I knew you were going to panic. In 2018, this senator won re-election by defeating Republican challenger Jeff Deal. For 10 points each, name this woman who represents Massachusetts in the Senate. Massachusetts? I don't know. I'm not taking mm -hmm. <laughs> Please defer to player two. Mary. Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. Warren formerly taught bankruptcy law at this Ivy League school. Justice Elena Kagan was once dean of this university's law school. Yeah, Harvard. Yeah. Pick Harvard. one. Yeah, you pick one. We'll go with Harvard. Harvard? Correct. Yeah. Warren <laughs> proposed the creation of this federal agency, was, which was established in 2011. Richard Cordray was this agency's first director. Yes. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. CIA? Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. 10 mm -hmm. points. That one. Toss up. A crowd in this poem unleashes a lusty yell after both the Lulu Flynn and the despised Jimmy Blake have success. This poem ends by noting that somewhere children shout, but there is no joy in Mudville. For 10 points, name this Ernst Thayer poem about a baseball slugger who strikes out. Castle Park. Casey at the bat. Correct. Yes. <laughs> 10 points. Uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, bonus. For 10 yeah. points each, answer the following about conjugate variables in physics. In thermodynamics, one member in each pair of conjugate variables is this kind of physical property whose value does not depend on the size of the system. Okay, I dropped out of physics. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never took physics. Uh, no. In no in answer. Intensive property. Okay. In quantum mechanics, this German physicist discovered an uncertainty principle that applies to conjugate variables. German physicist. Einstein. I guess your best guess. Sure. Einstein. Heisenberg. Okay. Momentum is the conjugate variable of this property, so the uncertainty principle implies that momentum and this property cannot both be known precisely for a given particle. Velocity. 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 Position. Okay. Zero okay. points. Okay. Toss up. <laughs> in June 2019, Joyce Beatty reintroduced a House bill to put a woman on this object. The previous month, Steve Munchen, uh, Stephen Munchen, uh, Mnuchin, sorry, announced the delay of a redesign meant to add an image of Harriet.
Otay Ranch? $10 bill. Incorrect. Let's repeat the question. In June 2019, Joyce Beatty reintroduced a House bill to put a woman on this object. The previous month, Steve Mnuchin announced the delay of a redesign meant to add an image of Harriet Tubman to this object. Andrew Jack... <laughs> Castle Park. $20 bill. Correct. Uh, bonus. For 10 points each, answer the following <laughs> about the only use of atomic weapons in warfare. Oh. At the end of World War II, the U.S. dropped atomic Wait. bombs over this country's cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Wave time, Japan. Correct. Nagasaki is on this Japanese island. The atomic bombings precluded a U.S. invasion that would have begun on this island southwest of Honshu. <laughs> <laughs> um, please refer to player five. Omaha. Kyushu. After oh. the bombings, this emperor announced Jap Japan's unconditional Hirohito. surrender. We have time, Hirohito. Correct, 20 points. Toss up. <laughs> Adding the letters STE to the beginning of this unit gives an analogous 3D unit. This unit is often used in calculus for the inputs to trigonometric functions to avoid conversion factors of 180 over pi. For 10 points, name this SI unit for angles of which there are two pi in a circle. <laughs> Otay Ranch? Radians. Correct. Uh, bonus. For 10 points each, name these men doomed to suffer in Tartarus, a region of the Greek underworld. <gasps> this, is tantalus. this king temporarily prevented mortals from dying by chaining up Thanatos. In Tartarus, he must endlessly roll a boulder up a hill. Oh, I know this guy. Older man. <laughs> Sisyphus. No, tip of my this resident of Tartarus is surrounded by food and water oh, that always escapes his grasp. Mm -hmm. In life, he tried to feed the gods meat from the body of his murdered son, Pelops. Wave Tantalus. Correct. This Lapis king is tied to a fiery wheel in Tartarus for trying to seduce Hera. Any, 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 any. <laughs> Scott. Ixian, 10 points. Toss up. This character delivers a speech that begins, oh, what a noble mind is here overthrown. While climbing a willow tree, this character falls and drowns. A prince tells her to get thee to a nunnery. Polonius is the father of Castle Park. Ophelia. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Huh? Bonus. <laughs> the largest nocturnal animal in this order is the I, I a species of lemur. For 10 points each, name this order of mammals. Marsupial. Sure. Marsupials. Wave time, marsupial. Primates. Ah. <laughs> I eyes evolved long middle digits that are used to dig into wood, partly because woodpeckers never reach this island to which lemurs are native. Madagascar. Wave time, Madagascar. Correct. Many lemurs, though not I eyes, exhibit this phenomenon resembling hibernation. In some animals, this reduction of metabolic rate is a daily phenomenon. Sleep. Wave time, sleep. Torpor. Ten points. Uh, Otay Ranch Captain, can you introduce the new players? Yes, in seat one we have Freya, in seat four we have Gabe, and in seat five we have Tam. Okay, toss up. This state's highest point, Britain Hill, is the lowest high point of any state. A city in this state has the largest area of any U.S. city. The Dry Tortugas Island, the Dry Tortugas are islands in, for 10 points, what southern state that includes the city of Jacksonville? Otay Ranch. Florida. Correct. Uh, bonus. For 10 points each, answer the following about coffins in American literature. After the Pequod sinks, Ishmael oh, survives by clinging to a coffin in this novel by Herman Melville. Moby Dick. Wave Moby Dick. Correct. Cash Bundren constructs his mother Addie's coffin on the bevel in a chapter of this William Faulkner novel. Oh, God. Is it the sound of the fear? In my, huh? I don't know. Absalom, Absalom. As I lay dying. The coffin of Abraham Lincoln passes through lanes and streets with processions long and winding. In this man's, in this man's poem, when lilacs, when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed. It's Whitman, right? I always get, I always get this one mixed. You do it. Whitman. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Twenty points. Toss up. This tribe produced a newspaper called Phoenix, whose first issue was published in the town of New Achota. A missionary to this tribe was the plaintiff in Worcester v. Georgia. Its headquarters are now in Oklahoma. For 10 points, what tribe used a writing system invented by Sequoia? Castle Park. Cherokee. Correct. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. In 1905, Dr. Gabriel Borio, 
Borillo, mm -hmm. claimed that Henry Logwee's eyes opened and looked around after Langwe was executed with this device. For 10 points each, name this beheading device that has become emblematic of the French Revolution. Correct. Another head that supposedly lived on after being guillotined belonged to Charlotte Corday, the woman who assassinated this French politician in his bathtub. Sucks to suck, but I don't know. Oh, it's one of the French Revolution guys. Please defer to player five. Good answer. Uh, John Paul Marat. <sighs> Many guillotined heads were kept by this sculptor who made wax likenesses of the faces that were displayed at her namesake museum in London. Her, uh, Sarah. Madame Please defer to player two. Madame Tussaud. Correct. 20 points. Nice. Toss up. In 2019, this group refu refused to join a Loya Jirga assembly chaired by Abdul Rasul Sayaf. This group's name means student in Pashto. In 2019, it began negotiating with the U.S. and Qatar in hopes of ending a war that started in 2001. For 10 points, name this terrorist group in Afghanistan. Castle Park. Taliban. Correct. Good job. Really good Bonus. Job. For 10 points each, answer the following about the recent conservative wave in Latin America. It emerged in reaction to the rise of Latin American leftism, which is often described as a tide of this color. Blue. <laughs> sure. Yeah. With time blue? Pink. Uh -huh. In 2017, the conservative uh, Sebastián Piñera succeeded Socialist Party member Michelle Bachelet as the leader of this country. Yes, uh, South American country. Peru. Please defer to player five. Peru. Chile. In 2018, the conservative Yvonne Duque took power in this country where the guerrilla group FARC originated. FARC. Are we still in Latin America? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds like it. I mean... Cuba. Colombia. Zero points. Awesome. Toss up. Subtypes of this class of objects include the sparse... Uh, uh, and sinus or mare's tails. A man-made type of these high-altitude objects formed by airplanes exhaust is called a contrail. Global Castle Park. Cloud. Uh, prompt. Um, nebulous cloud. Incorrect. Can you please repeat the question? Subtypes of this class of objects include the sparse and sinus or mare's tails. A man-made type of these high-altitude objects formed by airplane exhaust is called a contrail. Global warming may be partly caused by, for 10 points, what wispy clouds con- Oh, Ty Ranch? Cirrus clouds. Correct. Nice. Bonus. This poem depicts sages standing in God's holy fire as in the gold mosaic of a wall. For 10 points each, name this poem whose speaker travels the seas to reach a holy city. It begins, that is no country for old men. Sailing to Byzantium. And it's Yates. That's the next question, right? Yeah. Sailing to Byzantium. Correct. Yeah. This Irish poet wrote Sailing to Byzantium. <laughs> yeah. He described a falcon that cannot hear the falconer in his poem, The Second Coming. William Butler Yates. Go. What is the next question going to be about, though? we got to be ready. Where he's from. I don't know. Oh, he's Irish already. Yates. Correct. This American author quoted Yates in the title of his novel, No Country for Old Men, which Comment portrays the, the fallout from a drug deal gone wrong. Also, all the pretty places. Wave, Cormac McCarthy. Correct. 30 points. Toss up. One novel from this country describes a temple on Vulture Peak where a monk obtains scriptures. Three men swear the peach garden oath in a novel depicting second century wars in. For 10 points, what country whose classical novels include Journey to the West, Castle Park? China. Correct. Nice. Bonus. Pencil and paper ready. Oh, one, God bless you guys. Last one, boys. Anne has a rectangular plot of land that is 80 feet long and 40 feet wide. For 10 points each, in, s in square feet, what is the area of her plot? 3200. Wave time, 3200. Correct. How many fence sections will she need to buy if each section of fence is 10 feet long and she wants to completely enclose the plot? What's the perimeter? 16. 16, then. 24. Lisa, for the player one. 240. 240. Incorrect, 24. How many total fence oh. sections will she need if she wants to both enclose the plot and divide its interior into four equal regions that are each 20 feet long and 40 feet wide? You have 10 seconds. What's the length? This is the question. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh -oh. fences, I believe? I don't know. <clears throat> Eight. <laughs> Just guess Wait for the time. Please defer to player two. 72. 
36. Uh, 10 oh. points. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, and that is our match. We heard at the beginning of the program that Otai Ranch was undefeated, and they remain so, and you can probably see why. It kind of was the Otai Ranch show for a while here. However, Castle Park did get the last one, the last answer, and, and picked up a few along the way. Partly it's that Otai Ranch is so quick at, at ringing in the bell, and they hardly ever miss an answer. That's the other part of it. By the way, we should point out, however, that if you were used to watching academic league competition where, you know, each correct answer is with just a few points, well, in this case, each correct answer is worth about 10 times as much. That's why we get the score that we get, which is 770 for Ote Ranch, 175 for Castle Park. Nicely played by everyone. Good luck to you in the rest of the season. We hope you will join us again for more Academic League here on ITV. Stay tuned. Students?